This video was made in partnership with Texas Instruments. <laughs> so you're coming after me. Yeah, I'm scared. So Mark, tell us what we're seeing right here. This is essentially an entire high voltage battery management system. So if you look at a car and you, you'll have a battery pack on the bottom and if you take it apart, you'll see a lot of electronics in that battery pack. You'll see everything ranging from a microcontroller, which is actually managing the battery system, to the battery monitors, which are actually monitoring each and every cell. You'll see the high voltage sensing circuits, which are actually monitoring the 800 or 400 volt rails. You'll have the current sense. You'll have isolation detection circuits. You'll also have contactor drivers and potentially pyrofuse type drivers. Everything needed to look at the state of the batteries, the temperature, voltage, current information, performing isolation checks, and also, you know, turning on and turning off the contactors so that we can actually connect to the inverter or to the onboard charger. That's incredible. I mean, this technology enables electric vehicles, right? Because you need to manage that battery. And what specific innovations is Texas Instruments highlighting in this battery management system? The battery monitors are wireless BMS. Uh, contactor drivers and pyrofuse drivers. Every piece of silicon in here is actually a TI part. Uh, and so as you can see in the battery management system, there's going to be, I don't know, this is probably about 50 some odd devices. The battery management devices, the battery monitor ICs, which are actually monitoring voltage and temperature. And that's critical because if you use devices or cells such as like lithium iron phosphate, LFP or NMC, you need to measure that voltage with a very high degree of accuracy. And so these are the industry's most accurate battery monitors. We also feature our wireless BMS technology, which, and the wireless BMS essentially removes a lot of these wirings that you see and is able to transmit that data back to the battery controller and remove batteries and, and have more room for the overall BMS system. Other technologies that we are highlighting here are our contactor drivers, which we just released today. Uh, and our contactor drivers are the industry's first fully integrated drivers that are able to efficiently drive the contactors while also providing that same safety that we talked about earlier. Um, so you want to make sure that the contactors are really closed, that they're not welded shut, that there's no, you know, when you actually ask it to close, that they actually close. And if you have to, op to open it, that they actually opened it. We are also featuring another technology, which is our pyrofuse driver. And so the electrical interface to something like a pyrofuse is very similar to that of an airbag. I have to be absolutely sure before I fire the airbag. So there's a lot of checks that I have to do. But in a BMS system, if I've got an overcurrent situation, I've got to disconnect right away. And I don't have that time and that luxury. It's very tailored toward a battery, battery management pyrofuse type application. Thank you so much. Yes, contactors are very important in the battery world to keep us safe. Make sure that if there's any kind of a thermal event, it's shut down before it even starts. <laughs> so here we have on display a representation of multiple vehicles on the road. So I have three remote controlled vehicles. And if we actually zoom in a little bit, um, we can actually open up the, the clamshell of this uh, car. And what we'll see is a battery pack inside. And so the battery pack, as you'll see there, is actually being monitored by the same device that we talked about earlier. It's our uh, state-of-the-art 1% accurate battery monitor. And those battery cell information, the voltage, the current, and the temperature is then being used uh, to sent over to our main battery control unit. And that data is sent wirelessly through our TI wireless BMS protocol. What you'll see here is essentially three vehicles, and they are all sending their data back into the cloud. And the advantage of having that type of analytics available, if I have, let's say, a thousand cars in the road, a million cars in the road, the ability to monitor the, how the battery pack is aging, how those battery cells are varying in different types of environments, um, how the driver is interacting with the battery, with, it, with their car, um, what's the charging profiles look like, are they overcharging the car, that provides us with a lot of ability to perform um, analytics there. And so we are partnered with a company called Electra to provide the software analytics where we're running machine learning type algorithms, AI, ML type algorithms directly on these systems here so that we can actually provide advanced fault diagnostics. We can have better estimation of range. Uh, we can have better estimation of overall charge. 
And even for things like insurance companies, when you, uh, insurance companies may want to know what is the overall health of the battery pack after it's been driven for, for two years. Um, or even as you as an owner, you may want to know what is the residual value of your vehicle. So the analytics that we provide here are going to help the industry significantly. What we are doing is providing the silicon to pro provide the data accurately to an AI ML algorithm. <laughs>